We live? Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Let's wait for some people to join on in and uh, turn the volume off. Don't want to be uh, getting uh, distracted here by the noise that my computer's making. I just booted this thing up though, so um, it's going to be a little slow at first. Yeah, it ain't launching. Come on, Discord. Come on. Yes. Okay. Good. Now uh, then, we're using our webcam here. Cool. And uh, sorry about the noise, but yep. That's picking up the right audio. Let's lower that. That stupid beam's not in the way. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Looks like we're empty right now. Hmm. But um, I do need to draw the pattern for this. So I think I'll go ahead and uh, look up some katana stands as we are making a stand for a guest, or not a guest, a, a client, because I uh, already made something for that. Let me go grab it real quick. Uh, this guy right here. <clears throat> Ah. So the client, his name's Ian, Captain Derby Enclave, Fandom Friend Gaming. What's up, guys? I wonder if you guys have watched uh, the Starlet Keyblade video yet, but um, this is the commission that I made for Ian, and now I'm working on the, the stand for it because he wanted uh, to have me make a display stand for it. I'm going to do it out of wood. I have a big slab way on the, over on the ground there. But right now I gotta look up some uh, for some inspiration because I need to do this. I don't have like like um, a three D like model, I guess, that I can just make a pattern off of in Illustrator. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sharpie and draw it by hand. But I need to look up some stands to get some inspiration first. <sighs> and um, let's see here. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Okay, so it's kind of, hmm, I'm going to show you. I, don't, I can't really see what you guys are seeing, but uh, I'm going to try and make something like that. There's a whole bunch to pick from here, but uh, yeah, he wants something like this, and I don't even know if this, pick, this camera can pick up what you're seeing, but yeah, so something like that. So it looks like the bottom is kind of wavy on top flat on the bottom so we'll do that piece first okay you guys can see that pretty decently actually that's good i'll go ahead and set you right here and then we'll draw this out okay all right so this is 11 by 17 cardstock paper it's uh bigger than regular copy paper copy paper is about half of this so that's double we're gonna go ahead and just draw it. Uh, I need to get my ruler though. Uh, where did I put it? I just had it a minute ago. Hello. Oh, here it is. I got two of them actually. Uh, I guess I'll grab the. No, this this should be fine. So how how big are we gonna make this um, the stand? Well, this hammer here, I think it's 19 inches long. So we want to make it about the same length as this the bottom the base for this stand yeah it's about it's more like 18 and a half inches long okay so we'll do that so um this is all, this page is only 17 inches wide so i'm probably just gonna have to use two of them and tape them together right here but uh that can be a good reference for that so let me grab my scotch tape um i'm still pretty disorganized because i recently moved here but uh, and I haven't I haven't really had time to like sort this house out yet because I've been just make, making commissions and making videos and going to work. It's been taking up a lot of time and um, a couple of the commissions I'm working on have deadlines in July and I need to get those out of the way before I do anything else. So plus this stream is probably going to be shorter than it usually is. Usually they're about three hours long. This one's probably going to be about an hour and a half because uh, I need to get back to editing. Not not for not for a YouTube video, but for an Amino story. 
uh, because tomorrow is the 1st of July. So um, that's also another deadline. Shouldn't take too long to do that, though, but I do need, I would do want some elbow room when I'm editing that. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Scotch tape. I just had a roll here somewhere. Um, I guess I could just take this one. It's brand new, but whatever. Uh, let's see. No, it's not brand new. It's not. I just got to get my nail under here. Okay. All right. So how wide is it? Well, let's make it as wide as I can. I have space for. So, um, I'd say that's about 25 inches. So I think that's a good length right there. Or a good width, rather. So we'll tape this together just like we do patterns. No big deal. And we'll draw the pattern on this, and I'll probably get some more cardstock paper. I have so much paper that I um, that I have from failed print jobs because either the printer malfunctioned or the person who printed them, because I actually go to a retailer to print my things, uh, printed at the incorrect size or printed too many of them. So I usually am like, oh, that's okay, because, well, I need the scrap pieces of, or the blank pieces to um, actually draw patterns every now and then. Like this is a fail print, for example. This is an Elder Scroll, but it's way too small. I um, This is a commission I'm working on probably, um, definitely, actually, this week. I, I told the client I finished it by um, the end of this week. But it's too small. Um, if I were to try and make it, it would come up to about a meter in length. And the one I'm supposed to make needs to be about 1.2, 1.3 meters in length, so four feet. And, uh, yeah, this pattern's no good. So, but... It's good to keep anyway, because you never know if you need to do patterns by hand, like I'm doing right now. Uh, so, yeah, those come in handy for sure. <clears throat> I was just uh, just a minute ago, the reason this stream actually started a little late, um, it started at like 9.15 instead of 9 p.m., uh, like usual, is because, well, I um, was editing the Starlight Keyblade time lapse that I just uploaded, uh, like like ten minutes, like when I, right before I started the stream seven minutes ago, I just uploaded that video, and uh, the first time I tried to upload it, it worked just fine, but there was no music in the background, so I had to I had to go back to the editing and put the music back in, and then re-render the video, and then export it again, and then upload it again. Fortunately, though, the uploading process um, is really fast because my upload speed is a thousand gigabytes. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get my. 18 inch ruler here. I wish I had a, I have a yardstick way over there, but it's actually a little too long for this. Uh, so let's see. So the hammer, let's just say it's 19 inches long. Uh, so I want the base to be the exact same length, more or less. So we'll make the base of the stand 19 inches long. Uh, this is an 18 inch ruler. So I'm going to have to improvise a little bit. That's okay though. <clears throat> that's kind of the name of the game with cosplay, even if it's carpentry like this, what, like what this is. And I haven't worked with wood a whole lot in my life. Uh, so this is going to be fun for sure. So let's mark the one inch spot because I'm probably going to need that anyway. And then uh, right up here, an extra inch. Got to make sure the ruler is parallel to the line I just drew. And there you have it. That's 19 inch line right there. Um, now... We're going to actually, you know what? The bottom one, I'm going to make it a little bigger. Let's make it actually, let's see, let's make it 21 inches wide. And we'll make the, we'll make this base piece of a bit of a trapezoid. Um, and in doing so, we can make the top line of it 19 inches wide. And then the bottom, the base, will be 21 wide. Perfect. Okay. Um, only one person watching right now. That's okay. Hello, unwanted commentary. This is your first time? I don't recall seeing you watching a stream yet. <laughs> Did you happen to get an invite to play um, Halo Reach? Because I didn't. I'm actually sort of glad I didn't, because then I would have had to choose between playing Reach and, well, doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So uh, I never see your stream. Yeah, this is my third one. I, uh, I stream every Sunday at uh, 9 o'clock. Oh, you didn't apply for the flight? Okay. But yeah, I, uh, I stream every Sunday at 9 p.m. Pacific time, and I know you live in the same time zone I do. So yeah, nine o'clock. We just started. We've been we've been streaming for about uh, ten minutes. I had to start a little bit late though because um, I was editing my most recent video. So <laughs> I'm not a creeper. 
I just know that, okay? Anyway, so I'm making a base stand for this hammer right here. This was a commission I made a while ago. The client has been patiently waiting for me to finish this. Um, this is the Mithril Oven Forge hammer. And uh, you guys, I already uploaded the, the uh, time lapse for this. I'm going to upload the tutorial probably sometime next week or maybe a week from now or two weeks from now. Um, so I already made this, but the client wanted me to make a, a stand for a display stand for this. So that's what I'm making right now. I'm making the pattern for it by with by hand with my trusty little Sharpie here. I got a slab of wood down in the corner over there. So uh, my, wood, my, wood, my, my woodworking friend was supposed to make me a cross mount for my lightsabers. He was supposed to. So I'm guessing he didn't just yet, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the um, hammer is uh, 19 inches long. Well, it's actually 18 and a half, but yeah, he got busy. Yeah. Um, so the there's I'm making basically a katana stand. Uh, so it's got three pieces. It's got the base and it's got the two vertical stands. Uh, I'm drawing the pattern for the base right now, and it's going to be 21 inch, inches wide, uh, so two inches longer than this. And then the, the it's going to be kind of a trapezoid, and then the top of the trapezoid is going to be 19 inches long. You got three people watching. Sweet. Now, what I don't know right now is the height, so I'm just going to have to play by ear, or by eye in this case. Um, and it's really hard to see the in increments on this ruler from your guys' perspective. Um, but anyway, this camera is way better than the one I have on my laptop, though. <laughs> but don't want the lap in the way. Come on. There we go. Maybe over here. Okay. So let's... Um, Let's make it three inches tall, and we'll use the shorter ruler for that. Uh, okay, three inches. But yeah, I'm pretty. I uh, am kind of glad I didn't get picked to do the flighting for Reach, even though I really, really want to. Um, because yeah, if um, if I was picked for it, then I'd have to choose between playing Reach and making videos and working on commissions and that would have been a really tough choice because yeah i really 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 want to play reach on pc um so that's this is an 18 inch ruler so 19 divided by two is eight and a half or nine and a half so nine and a half right there um that doesn't look parallel to me let's tilt it just a hair all right so nine and a half across here and um that's five, so that means that needs to be 14 and a half on this side. Okay. And um, I'm thinking instead of just a flat trapezoid, because that's as much as I like geometric shapes, that is a little boring. So I'm going to make it interesting by instead of doing like just a straight line between these two and these two, I'm going to do a straight line down so it's parallel to this line. And then I'll have like um, a 45 degree angle right here. So that's more like a foot shape almost. And then there's going to be a kind of indent right here. So a little little gap right there. Um, but uh, first things first, let's get the straight lines all the way down. And I guess we'll mark it at the, actually we won't make it 45. We'll just make this two inches and then we'll just connect the lines right here. We got five people. I wonder if we can break the record. The current record is eight people. All right. That'll be that side and, well, this side too. Although that seems, yeah, I think, I think that'll be okay. All right, so straight line down on uh, this side. My laptop's in the way. Straight line down here. Actually, this is my smaller ruler. It's poking into my stomach, the 18-inch the one. Uh, okay. Two inches there. Oh, that don't look right. Yeah. All right, let's cut an inch off of this. I think I measured it incorrectly, so let's try that again. Let's do another, let's do two inches right here. How wide is that? It's about an inch and a quarter. Inch and three quarters, okay. Well, now I'm really confused. <laughs> um, okay, this was nine and a half, right? Yeah, that's also nine and a half. Okay, how much is this? That's not what it's supposed to be. So, okay, hold on a second. Yeah, it needs to be ten and a half. So over here, right? What is this? 
Oh, the line's not in the middle. Shoot. I'm so... <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um, shoot. All right. What do you guys got to say? We start arguing over here's longer here again. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, some some of you have been here since 50, and some of you have been are relatively new. So, uh huh. I want a commentary has been around for a while, as far as I know. I uh, I discovered his channel when he was at 70. Right now he's at like what 13, 14,000. Do you use regular paper or cardstock? Uh, this is cardstock. I pretty much never use regular copy paper. It's just too flimsy. And uh, yeah, my patterns go through um, some abuse when I'm when I'm using them. So yeah, better to use cardstock in my opinion. I like using cardstock for my templates. Yes, absolutely. Can't expose can't measure. Yeah, yeah, because regular copy paper. No, plus I I use a sharpie, so it bleeds through, and sometimes you mess up the pattern, so you got to flip it over. And if it bleeds through, then yeah, that's kind of that screws it up a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and redo this because I I got the measurements wrong or something. I just flip it, flip it over. So it's supposed to be 21 inches wide on the bottom. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so if it's 21. That means half is 10 and a half. So we'll do 10 and a half here. I really hate the imperial system, but whatever. And then we'll do 10 and a half on this side. So that's five. So we'll make that 15 and a half. Boom. Okay. Now that's the middle line. So that we will do three inches up because that's what I did here. And uh, trying to make it as perpendicular as I can. I have a protractor somewhere. I don't, I don't remember where it is because it's kind of a mess here. Ever thought about doing a video about your workstation? Actually, funny enough, I did uh, record a video of my old workstation at my other, at the house I was I was in not too long ago. Okay, have fun. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, it's nice seeing you, man. Nice seeing you. Um, so I actually did record um, a video with of my old workshop, but I don't really have access to that house anymore. And uh, look. Yeah, I do want to do that. Um, I want to at first like make this area clean and tidy because having moved here recently and uh, with all these deadlines I have to meet, yeah, I, I just haven't had the time to do it. But once I do get some time to do it after I finish um, this commission and Elder Scroll and a Ranger Helmet, I think I'm pretty much good to go and I can start uh, taking it easy again. Um. So by then, I'll probably have the house sorted and therefore this workshop. I can go ahead and show you how messed up this place is. So um, most of the stuff you're about to see is not actually cosplay related stuff. So um, there's um, like four boxes right here and then there's three right there. And most of that stuff is just um, a lot of stupid junk that I've collected over the years. Uh, pretty much none of it is um, stuff that belongs in this in the garage right now. Um, and then there's all the stuff on the shelves there. That's actually my grandmother's stuff. And, uh, I got to move it out of the way cause she don't live here anymore. Um, and then right next to my laptop here is a whole bunch of junk. Well, it's not junk, but it's, it's, it's just, I don't, I haven't found a place for those things yet. Uh, yeah. Cause my, my compass is there. My wire cutters are there. My soldering iron, some magnets, hacksaw scissors, a block of acrylic plastic, some, uh, um, circle stencils, all that stuff. But, uh, and, uh, over here, so this is the table right here. And, uh, this is actually, this box right here actually, uh, was, um, the box for my vice, not the one I'm using. This one, this one uh, is my grandmother's, but, uh, I use this actually to keep all my warbler scraps. And, uh, I think I have, um, some led lights in there too. And then, um, this paint, yeah, it's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be on, uh, this shelf right here. And I even sort, I did sort the paint, but that's about it. <laughs> so, yeah. And then here's my, my bandsaw right here, a blowtorch for um, polishing things up if I need to Or And my heat gun is broken. I still have my heat gun somewhere. Um, yeah, it's in that box there, but it, it's broken. So I have to use my blowtorch for Warbla. And it's uh, a little terrifying. 
And uh, so, yeah, that's how it is right now. Um, I probably will make a video uh, giving you a little tour of the area um, after I get it sorted out. But that's not going to happen for a while because I just got all this stuff I need to get out of the way first. So uh -huh. one day, can you make a, a bolter from Warhammer 40K? I've never played that game, so I have no idea what you're talking about. But I will go ahead and look that up. Uh, bolt. What was it called? The bolter. Okay. Um, I have seen some armor from that game. It's like super bulky armor. And the only reason I've seen it is actually because there are uh, mods for Skyrim that add that armor to that, to that game. But yeah. Let's see here. Oh, so you're talking about this thing, right? That doesn't look too difficult, actually. So, yeah, now that you mentioned it, I, I, I might do that. It's, uh, yeah, I like that eagle on the side. That's probably going to be the trickiest part of it. But otherwise, it's like it's really simple because of how, cause of how ge geometric it is. Hair trigger. Oh, and the, the barrel's got a hole on the sides of it as a kind of muzzle brake action thing. So, um. I don't know if I'm going to make it anytime soon, but I definitely, I'll definitely add that to the list. That's a, that's a pretty cool one, I think. Anyway, let's uh, get back to the drawing board. Literally. <laughs> so, okay. Anyway, desk lamp's not in the way. Good. Okay. All right. So, 21 inches on the bottom part of this trapezoid. It's going to be 19 on the top, and it's three inches tall. We'll do 19 here. 19 divided by two is nine, is nine and a half. So, yeah, nine and a half. And then uh, over on this side, these can be 14 and a half. Okay. Now this should be this should be good. Okay. Now we'll do straight straight down. Uh, two inches straight down on both sides. Okay. Okay, that's better. Sweet. All right. Okay. Let's connect the two lines. Someone coming through the door? I don't know. You know what the Game of Thrones Kingsguard armor looks like? No, nope, I don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't watch TV. I don't watch anything. So, no, I don't. But I'll go ahead and look it up right now. Kingsguard armor, Game of Thrones. What? What? I'm not going to be able to lock the door tomorrow morning. So, uh, and I'm, leaving, I'm leaving my keys on the hook behind the mirror thing. The mirror thing? Yes. So you know the tall mirror? In yeah. grandma's room? No, no, in front of the main door. Oh, that? Okay. Yeah. Uh, across from that on the shelf, bunch of books. My keys are on it. I'm not going to be able to lock the door. Okay. Are you, are you going to leave your car keys there too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Anyway, that was my brother. He um, He's living with me, but he takes off for boot camp tomorrow. So anyway, Game of Thrones Kingsguard armor. I'll go ahead and look that up. Yeah, so I, I don't like, um, let's see. I don't really spend my time watching TV. It's just not my thing. Um, I don't even play that many video games these days, to be honest. Hmm. Sorry, one sec. I'm going to get sick there. And I do, I have seen clips of this show, and I do recognize that helmet. But, uh, hmm. It does look interesting, and uh, yeah, it's got a heck of a lot of detail on it, too. I admire that. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I recognize those helmets. I think um, I think the guy who executed whatever character is played by Sean Bean wore that helmet, and the guards around him wore that helmet. So, um, so judging by the fact that I know that, probably means it's an iconic thing. So... I don't think I'll I don't think I'll make the whole armor set, but I might make the helmet. 
one of these days I might. How do you think you would make scales? Actually, it's um, what you can do is um, if you uh, if you saw my video on the Game of Thrones dragon egg, and the only reason I did that video was because uh, season eight came out that day. Um, I actually made the scales with uh, guitar picks, and uh, I spent about sixty bucks on the guitar picks. So um, don't do that. But you can purchase a guitar pick stamp to make your own, and you can just put foam in that and. There you go, scales. And you can also buy a, a whole bunch of them from uh, cosplay suppliers like TNT Cosplay. Um, otherwise, yeah. Hello, Mr. Everything and More. I I think you're the one who sent me the pictures of the NCR Ranger armor. Um, so I, I published the, the Starlight Keyblade time lapse about uh, 30 minutes ago. Um, so, yeah, your shout out's not in that because it's a time lapse, it's not a tutorial. But You'll get yours in the next uh, tutorial, which I believe is, let me look at my videos. Um, so I, the, my most recent tutorial was Heirs of Scarlet Sword, which came out about, I think, two weeks ago, almost, or a little over one week, something like that. Um, so there's three more tutorials I need to make before I'm caught up, and now four, because I just did the Starlight Keyblade. Um, so yeah, Heirs of Scarlet Sword. So the next one is for this hammer, the, the Mithril Open Forge hammer. So I will give you your shout out in the tutorial for that. Thought about using either styrene plastic or a sheet of brass. I want them to have that clicky sound when in motion. Um, yeah, you could do that. Um, and I, I, I don't know how to do it yet. I was just told about it at a convention, but you can also use resin to give foam a hardening to make it feel like plastic. I actually held something that was done that way. I don't, he didn't like tell me how to do it or anything. He just told me that it was foam that had resin in it. It was the uh, 10 millimeter pistol from Fallout 3. And that was actually in my Deja Karma at the time. So that was back in 2018, I think, uh, April 2018. So you could do that. Um, or yeah, you could use plastic. Totally, you could actually just use the guitar stamp and and make pl and just put plastic through it instead of foam. That would be good too. A uh, sheet of brass. Yeah, you could do brass. I've never I've never tried using metal myself, except for rods of it for giving my props reinforcement for like swords and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you could do that. A guitar pick stamp would probably be the fastest way, or just buying a whole bunch of them. So yeah, you yeah. Okay, well, I'll get back to drawing now. Okay, so we're at this stand here. Um, I think I want to round the edges, actually, but I can probably get to that once I actually cut it out. Um, let's see here. Let me actually look at the inspiration that pictures again. So I'm going to search up Katana Stand. Oh yeah, because the top wasn't completely flat. The bottom was, but the top was was wavy. Yeah, yeah, it's wavy, and it's actually kind of almost curved, not 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 straight, but it's also more a little more little less shallow than what I got here. But I'll keep it like this, and I'll just make it wavy here. Uh, so yeah, okay, I'll do that. I don't really know how I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna have to just eyeball it, but uh, and I'll also do a little indent right here. So let's do that next. Let me go back to my picture there. <sighs> okay, so how deep are we going to make the indents? Let's make it, I think a half inch is good. Yeah, let's, let's do half inch, right? Right there. And then uh, on over here, we'll start it um, a half inch past this line. So we'll just do inch and a half mark right there and an inch and a half mark right here. And... Um, then we'll just uh, do a line straight across from where this mark was. And then this will be the indentation. Okay. And um, I guess uh, from here, we can, we can probably do like a quarter of a circle. Let me grab my circle stencil. You guys don't see this thing a whole lot, but I use it all the time, especially for Elder Scrolls. So let's see. What size are we going to make that? So... This was a half inch, so we're, I need a one inch circle right here. Then, just like this, do a little curve right here. Perfect. Yes. 
that's a little too far away. Um, let's reel it in a little bit. Okay. I did it on this side. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. I'd be totally happy with craft bone, but I want that sound. That decision has been driving me crazy lately. Yeah. So what you can do, and you don't even have to get styrene because styrene is like the cheapest plastic imaginable and therefore is really fragile. What you can do, I actually work at a, at a plastic uh, fabrication company. What you can do is just order like a, a sheet of acrylic, not styrene, but acrylic. Acrylic is a lot more durable. Um, and the thinnest that we sell it in is right here. Um, so just get that and then just run it through a guitar stamp. You should be fine. Or you can use, uh, what's it called? Uh, polyethylene, a uh, soft plastic. Um, but yeah, acrylic is good because it's a hard plastic. Um, oh yeah, actually don't get polyethylene because it's chemically resistant. and doesn't stick to anything. It's just like silicone. So yeah, I do. So go with acrylic. You can get in clear. You can get in uh, transparent colors. You can get in solid white, solid black, all that stuff. So yeah. So I got the indentations. Now I got to just make it wavy. Um, now question is, where do I start the waves? I guess I could uh, do a a corner of a, a quarter of a circle on these end. That how big are we going to make the circle though? Maybe inch and a quarter. Yeah, I think inch and a quarter would be good. Well, that's the diameter of this circle here. But okay, inch and a quarter. Okay, I'll do it on this side too. All right, good enough. You work at a manufacturer, I bet there are a ton of scraps getting thrown out. Oh, yeah, all the time. Like, um, usually, um, like, when we take out the garbage, um, most of, like, like 90% of what we throw out is plastic. And it's it's, it's a damn shame. Uh, um, luckily for me, though, my boss actually lets me keep whatever I want, um, as long as it's not, like, plastic that's brand new or anything. But, yeah. I uh, In fact, in fact, this block right here, this... This is a, um, a three quarter inch block of acrylic. This at this size would sell for about $13 where I work. I got it for free. So yeah, that's awesome. They also sell Warbler and silicone there and I get an employee discount. So it's it's really good setup for me. Hey man, th that is again for the blueprint of the anti-material rifle. Hey, yeah, I remember you. I'm doing some work test and I thought I'd stop. And I, and I thought I'd stop. Line say, hey, I hope all is well, brother. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, dude. Um, hope things are going well for you. And uh, it sounds like my template's been helpful for you, for you. And that's that's great. So, uh, yeah, send me. Hey, listen, when you finish that thing, send me pictures of it. And I want to show it off to my viewers, okay, in a tutorial video. All right. Hey, Joe, good to see you again, man. I know you're a busy man, but any chance you could grab a small sheet of that and make a few scales to test my design? Actually, yeah, I can do that for you. I have a shift tomorrow, so um, I can just uh, sift through the plastic in uh, in the garbage bins, and then we can, uh, and then I can do that. I'd have to get my hands on a guitar pick press press though, unless you have a another way to do it. But yeah, I could totally do that. Yo, watching the stream while playing online Xenoverse with Braden. Braden, oh yeah, Braden's awesome. Nice find from work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's part of the reason why, I, excuse me, that's part of the reason I got that job was because I thought that it would be pretty convenient to uh, um, have all that plastic at my disposal. I mean, this thing, this is 13 bucks worth of plastic right here, and I just got it for free. So it's it's, it's awesome. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, though. Um, although, I will say this. Um, this mold right here, um, this is, uh, my mold for making Omni wrenches that, that to have LEDs in them because the uh, vents on both of the heads have those little trapezoid pieces and that's what these are. So I have to put uh, casting resin in that, but it's about the same thickness. If not, well, it's a little thicker, but, um, what I might <laughs> did its job a little too well with this mold and actually picked up on the scratches on the side because I had to cut the original pieces with a bandsaw. And then I had, then I sanded it as best I could, but the scratches were still kind of visible. But in the castings, when I use this mold, you can see the scratches. So um, I got to redo that. So uh, I'll probably use this, and instead of just getting rid of the scratches, I'll do a complete like polish with it. So, yeah, plastic is hard to come by around here, so I can't wait. To, so I can't test it myself. Do you not live in the United States? I can send you a template on Discord. Yeah, you can send it to me on Discord, um, Instagram, Facebook, or email, whatever you want. 
Uh, why? So do you, do you live outside the U.S. or uh, why is that hard? But yeah, I live in Southern Illinois, so I'd love to order. Oh, okay. All right. I used to live in Illinois, actually, back when I was um, like a sixth or a seventh grader. I, I don't think it was Southern Illinois. It's more like Central Illinois. It's uh, I was I was living in Champaign. Um, lived there for like a year and a half. And wow, it's very different from where I'm right, right now, which is uh, the West Coast uh, in Portland, Oregon. Definitely the weather is probably the biggest difference. And it's completely flat. There's like no mountains out there. Um, so yeah, the weather gets pretty crazy. And, um, uh, when I was living there, um, we would, the, uh, the, the winters were pretty brutal because of, uh, how, how deep the snow got and me being the oldest child, I was in charge of, sh of shoveling all that stuff. And we had a pretty big driveway and it took hours to get all that snow out of there. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, just send me the template, and um, I can see if I can find some plastic um, that they're going to throw away that's at a sixteenth of an inch in thickness, and uh, yeah, I'll see what I can do. I might even grab some other ones, like three thirty seconds or even a quarter inch if you want, or not quarter, but one eighth. So, oh my, oh god, Illinois. Yeah, uh, the people there were definitely nice, and I'm still friends with a, a number of them on Facebook. But yeah, the weather was just insane over there because there's no mountains, there's nothing to block the Arctic wind, you know. Just trap. It just uh, flies right over Canada and then right into the Midwest. Anyway, <clears throat> I think I'm getting the hang of this this live streaming thing. And we're only three streams in. Uh, how long have we been streaming? Uh, about forty minutes. Okay. Yeah, I will have to stop at about an hour and a half uh, because I need to edit another video that is actually due tonight because. Uh, it, it, I actually get paid for this video, so, or, well, it, it won't take that long to upload, but, um, and I was actually upload or editing the, um, the Starlight Keyblade time-lapse, which I just uploaded right before I started this stream, and, uh, that's why the stream started late, but, anyway, so, got the curves in there, now we're gonna make it wavy, so, how deep do we want these to go, maybe a half inch? No, let's actually do a little, let's make it a little extreme, let's go one inch deep. So, looks like that's eight and a quarter down. Um, so, what's the halfway mark of that? That'd be like four in right here, right? So, we'll do one inch down. And then we'll use that as the wave. I didn't know you still talked to Braden, Joe. Or, well, I mean, we're all friends with him on Facebook, but I didn't know you, you still fre frequently hung out with him. That, that's awesome, all these years later. No, nope, that's that's too far to the right. It's, yeah, right here is where I want it. Okay, so one inch down. Okay. Hmm. Actually, no. Let's actually do it a little further to the right because I don't want it to kind of peak right here. I want it to kind of smooth over first. So let's actually make it instead of four and uh, what is that? Three eighths. Uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do it two and three quarters. And then one inch down. Now I'm sure there's a, a method to, to put, to draw waves, but I don't know. So I'm just going to do it all by eye. Um, okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, not bad. I'm liking it so far. Okay, that's our pattern right there for the base. And it's not perfectly symmetrical, so I'll just have to fold it in half and then trim it like that. Okay, uh, scissors, 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 scissors. There is no scissors. Not, just, not a problem, I'll make a scissors. 
for your test. All right. Um, I guess I'll cut it in long here with my Zacto knife that I can't find. Use this thing. I've got it here somewhere. I just have no clue where it is. All right. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's cut this out. Let's fold it in half first, actually, just before I forget. Uh, use the edge of the table to make a nice flat seam, or, well, even one, that is. All right, cool. This is how you make a symmetrical cut, regardless of whether you drew it or not. All right, and uh, which one do I like better? Which side do I like better? I think I like this side better. Let's get from this one. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, I definitely have enough wood to do this. the The slab I have is like is like three by three feet. So, yeah, I definitely have enough. I only need to make three pieces that are about this size. So. So I guess now, I guess I can, I, I can't really think about anything to talk about. So, um, but today is the last day of June. Tomorrow is the first day of July, which means um, in a couple days, I'm going to get my money from Patreon. And thanks to all my supporters through there. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are very generous. I appreciate it very much. But um, for the month of June, I'm being given $123 just from Patreon, which is just insane. So I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do with that money. I'm not going to use it to pay the bills because I don't need to. Um, and this is really bugging me. Um, but um, where's my box right here? But um, I'm going to use that. I've been eyeballing this microphone, this studio grade microphone for a while. And it costs exactly $123. Uh, well, $122.99 to be exact, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to use the money I get from Patreon to buy that microphone. And that is going to vastly improve the audio quality of not just my YouTube videos, but that of this live stream as well. Because right now I am using the webcam's microphone to record the audio. And looking back on the, um, my streams from the weeks before, yeah, the audio quality is not that good, even compared to the lavalier mic I have, which also isn't that good, um, even though I spent 80 bucks on that damn thing. Um, so I'm going to get that microphone as soon as the Patreon money rolls in. And I am also going to get a subscription for Dropbox so that, I make, so that I can make all the patterns I've made freely available to all of my viewers. And the only thing you can't do is resale them or use them for profit or claim them as your own. They're for personal use only, but they will be free for you guys. And um, I've already made the accounts and I'm using the free trial right now. But at some point going to become a monthly bill, but that's okay. That is okay with me. <laughs> anyway, got this uh, page here, but yeah. I'm going to use Dropbox to make all my patterns freely available for all you guys to use. Um, instead of having people write me emails and then me sending them and then having to write all the goddamn instructions every single time I do it. So, yeah, that is happening. Uh, I think Patreon typically gives out the money on the fifth of the month. So a little less than a week from now. Hell yeah, invest to grow the quality and ease of your channel. That's exactly right. Exactly right. I mean, there will be times where I probably you have to use Patreon to pay bills, but as long as I can uh, avoid that, I will. So yeah, for the month of June, the money I'm getting from Patreon is going to a microphone, and it's going to pretty much make the audio quality of my videos as good as it gets, um, at least until I install like foam paddles in my walls or something. <laughs> but yeah, that is coming up. And so yeah, get the microphone, get the patterns. Uh, ready to you guys and that includes uh, armor patterns and um, not just any armor patterns but uh, the ones I've made for myself like say for my Daedric armor 
I'm going to scan all of those patterns and then send them and put them in my Dropbox account for you guys to download. So yeah, it's going to take a while, but it's going to happen. I still have all the patterns that I hand drew for all my trial and error pieces, like the, the Ranger helmet and of course the Daedric armor. Um, they're in one of these boxes. But yeah, I'm going to head to a retailer and scan them all so I can get some digital files and then those will be made available to you guys. So good stuff, good stuff. <sighs> and my voice is hurting right now, or not my voice, but my throat, but I got the pattern for the base piece. So now I just got to do this, the, the stands, but I only need to make one pattern because they're identical. And as for cutting this, well, I'll probably just do it kind of like I do at my, my job, just cut out a rectangle and then take it to the bandsaw and then polish it. So before I do that, I'm going to go grab a drink to kind of um, relieve my throat a little bit, as dirty as that sounds. So uh, I'll be back in about two minutes. All right, feeling better, more or less, anyway. How long have we been streaming? About uh, 50 minutes. Okay, let's uh, let's do the other pattern now. I'm gonna have to get a brand new piece of paper for this, or cardstock. No, not that one. Come on. I have to reach over my table saw to get to my my uh, my papers here. Anyway, <clears throat> let's do the. Let's do the top piece now. Now, originally, I was going to make this as geometric and um, as, uh, what was the word, generic as possible. But now that I have, uh, now that I'm more confident in my tool's abilities to cut wood, I can make it a little more fancy. And I'm sure the client will appreciate that. He's been waiting for months to, to get this. So. All right. Now... How tall are we going to make this? Well, I need to grab this. So this is three inches tall. So um, right about here, right? Let's make it, oh, let's make it nine inches tall. And in this case, nine inches across. Okay. Okay, now this side can be flat. 
but this is the only one. And how thick are we going to make this? Well, at the base, um, I guess one inch will do. Or well, no, let's make it two inches. Okay. So he actually, so he's got something else that he wants to put on this stand. So he's going to put my my hammer on the top piece. So it's going to go right here. Uh, and then he's got another piece that he wants to go in the middle. So I need to make this a double tiered stand, just like a katana stand. Because uh, uh, on katana stands, the top one is for the katana itself. And then the bottom one is for the sheath or scabbard. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing here. Um, and I guess I can trim this to make it a little more manageable. Yeah, as much as I'd like to make money off of this channel, the main goal is just to have the awesome experience and career. Money is just a tool. Too much love of it will kind of make you an evil person. <laughs> um, as they say, the love for money is the root of all evil. People often mistake it for money itself is the root of all evil, but no, money is important. It's just how you use it is what changes things. If it's a tool for you to go through awesome experiences and give back to your to your consumers, your viewers, your customers, all that good stuff, then money is very powerful, very powerful stuff. That's exactly what I intend to do with whatever I make with this channel. Anyway, so I guess we'll just have to eyeball this. <laughs> um, so we'll make it, a, I'm not going to make any sharp points, so we'll just make it curvy at the top here and then kind of swoop down just a little bit. Like so. Not too thin though. And then we'll make the middle one. Actually, I want to mark the halfway point. So it's at nine inches in height. So we're going to make it four and a half right here. And that'll be, yeah, right here. Let's actually change that up a little bit. Uh -huh. No, that's that's too narrow. Um, let's actually expand it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then we'll swoop it in and then curve right back out. And then right back in just a little. Okay, now does that look big enough to hold this thing is the question. Yeah, definitely, definitely big enough. In fact, it's a little too big, um, but that's okay. You can, you can be at an angle. Discord isn't letting me send you a message. Okay, in that case, I think that's because I, I uh, don't allow people to do that. So in, instead, just send me an email. I'll go ahead and type it in for you. Yeah, so just send me the file through that, and you should be good. <sighs> All right, so that's the vertical stand right there. I have to make two of these. Um, I guess I'll cut this out with a box knife instead of scissors because of the fact that it's curved like that. I have my I have my exacto knife somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, so let's cut this down now. Nope. Oh. Yeah, straight lines you want to do with scissors, curved with a knife. I just go ahead and cut the whole thing out with scissors. Might as well, right? Be a lot easier with an exacto knife. I just don't. I just can't find it right now. Damn shame. Somebody's texting me. My phone's in my pocket, but I'm not gonna answer it right now. Oh, that might have been the email. <laughs> Uh, 
second. Not right this second. When it, when the stream's over and I'm, when I'm done editing that other video for Amino, because I have to get that uploaded tonight. Yeah, brother's taking off for boot camp tomorrow. I can hardly believe it. He just graduated high school last last month. Well, this month, but it'll be the next month tomorrow. Braden said, hi, David. <laughs> Tell him I said, what's up? I miss his laughter. And I know Spirit of Radio was his favorite Rush song. Has that changed at all? All right. Pattern cut out. <clears throat> okay, I sent the email. Good. Uh, I will answer it as soon as I get some time. Phone's vibrating again. <laughs> But yeah, I'll answer it when I get some time. Um, not right this second, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that will work. So uh, let's uh, copy these over to the wood now. I don't know how I'm going to fit that piece of wood on this table, though, or this workbench. Um, so yeah, this is right here. And then these are... The top piece is right here. It's actually a little too short now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, hold on a second. Um, yeah, I think, I think it'll, it'll work. It'll be fine. All right, so I need to make two of these and one of these. So let's do that. Ow! Scrape. I just cut my knee. Great. <laughs> oh, well. Now, the only reason I have this slab of wood is because a while ago, my best friend, Christine, who also happens to be my my sole Kugelblick patron, uh, she wanted me to make a board for her so that she has something to draw on. But I got way too much wood, so now I've got this thing. <laughs> and uh, this side is actually the better side, so we'll copy it, the pattern onto this side. It's not as tore up as this one, but I got the stool out of the way. Got this slab of wood. It's pretty much the exact size I need to cut it on the table saw. Uh, so I'm just going to cut it straight right here, and then the rest will cut with a bandsaw. As for this, I can probably cut two of them. So, yeah, let's mark what size we actually, we can just measure it. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll cut this at four inches, and this other one we'll cut at three inches. Yeah, okay. Four inches and three inches. Now the question is, how am I going <laughs> to... Well, I've got my table saw over there. It's going to be a little hard to show you guys, and it's going to get wood splinters all over the place. Um, I guess I'll just move the table then. I need to get these boxes out of the way first, though. Just give me, just give me a second, guys. <clears throat> now what? Okay. And I got a whole bunch of junk on top of this table saw too. Uh, some PVC pipes, some metal rods, empty silicone canisters, and something. Oh, that's my that's my jump cut poster. Yeah, that belongs upstairs, not down here. What am I doing? Oh yeah, these are the wing nuts for the table saw. A couple of wooden dowels, another PVC pipe. Here's the guard for it, the cable. Okay, now we're good. I just need to get this crap out of the way. Oh, that's my graphics card box. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, this thing's not screwed in there. Shoot. All right, I'll just have to move the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry guys, just a minute. Um, <sighs> this is quite a workout because this thing's pretty heavy. <clears throat> Okay, cool. 
I got to start installing the guard, but I guess it couldn't hurt to let you guys see this. If I can set up the camera in place. Um, I know there's good. Yeah, okay. This is my table saw. I don't use it that often. Um, for the, hmm? Brain said, yeah, that song is pretty good. You have a hell of a good memory, my guy. Yeah. Um, fun fact, Joe. Um, shortly before the uh, sophomore year ended, we were kind of stuck at, like, I think a, a football game or something or some event that was happening on the football field. And um, I gave Brayden one of my headphones so that we could both listen to some Rush because Rush was all I had on my phone. And uh, I knew his song, favorite song was Spirit of Radio because he told me. And so I played that. And then, he, and then he said, this music is literally the only thing keeping me sane right now. <laughs> and I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. Let's scoop this up, shall we? All right. Rotate. Let's raise the blade up. Just enough so that it's tall enough to cut the wood. I don't know how thick the wood is, though. It's probably three-eighths, my guess. Okay, that's good right there. Um, I'm going to install this thing. Um, let's see. Yes. There we go. Oops. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, let me try again. I think that's how you do it. I don't know. Like I said, I seldom use this thing because uh, I don't work with hard materials a whole lot. The only time I do is like for cutting PVC pipes for Elder Scrolls because this the, the table saw is like the perfect tool for cutting the slits down, the PVC pipes, so that you can uh, stick the, what's it called, the, the scroll paper through it. I don't need this thing. Okay. Now this thing's really loud, so I'm actually going to go grab my, my headphones from my office real quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and install the wing nuts too, just just to be safe. Uh, put them over here. So this is because these wing nuts are what keeps the table saw attached to the legs down there. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put two in for now, and then I'll put the other two in later. But yeah, just just in case, I don't want to have any accidents here. Especially since I don't have health insurance. Okay, come on. One second. Come on, tight. Okay, let's get the other one. Plug it in. Um, you grab an extension cable. I got one up here. Connect it to the ceiling. That's not an extension cable. That's a light. Um, okay, I'll just connect it to my power strip over here. Which means I got to rotate this. Okay. Fun times. Come on, get, plug in. There 
go. <sighs> okay. That's good. Looking good. Yes. Okay. So, scooch this up. So, what was it? So, I think it was four inches and three inches, right? That I needed to cut this at. Yeah, because, yeah, that's four inches. Okay. Because the, the piece itself is three inches tall. All right. Brace your ears, guys. This thing's really loud. Okay, not bad, not bad. That was the three inch piece. Now let's do the four inch one. goodness <laughs> I should have put my respirator on oh man okay well got the planks now all right there looking good now I just got to cut them on the bandsaw but I got to copy the oh I yeah I got to copy the um what's it called the patterns to it all right so let's get the uh Let's get the other one. Hello, Eve. Good to see you again. It's your favorite person. <laughs> yeah, you all are. You all are my... <coughs> Sorry, dust. You all are my favorite people. That sounds like Brayden. I want to say I miss high school, but honestly, those days sucked. Yeah, they did to an extent. Like, they all they had their good... They had their ups and downs, but... Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad they're over. But there are times that we're... Times to remember. Hi. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> All right. So to catch you guys up on this, if you just joined. Oh, my push sticks on the ground. So I'm making I'm making a, a display stand for a client because I made this hammer for him. Uh, but he also wanted me to make a stand for him. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I told him I'd have it done tonight if I, it's possible. Uh, so that's, yeah. I uh, just got done drawing the patterns. So this is the base piece right here. I'm making basically a katana stand. Um, so that's the base piece. And then there's going to be two vertical ones, which look like this. And his the hammer is most likely, most likely going to rest on the top. But he also asked to uh, make space for a second thing that he wanted to display. So that's why there's two tiers. So yeah, I just cut these planks off on the table saw. So now I just got to trace the patterns and then I'll cut this on the band saw. Hopefully it's got, I have enough space to do so. Get my blowtorch out of the way. <sighs> and yeah, I just finished at, what time is it? It's 10.30 and we've been streaming for a little over an hour. But yeah, uh, right before the stream, I was um, editing the Starlight Keyblade time lapse, which I just uploaded. So uh, when you get some time, please go watch that. I think you guys will like it. And I'm sure the client who ordered that thing will like the video too. Uh, but she lives on the East Coast, so she's probably sleeping right now. Uh, okay. Yeah. So now I'm just copying the pattern I drew to this slab of wood. And then we'll cut this on the bandsaw. And then uh, put the whole thing together. And or we'll polish it first, then put it together. And then, um, and then finish it with some with some uh, satin varnish. I think he originally wanted an acrylic stand, but then he changed his mind to wood. So 
And this is pretty fun too, because I have never like really worked with wood before. Um, I work at a plastic company, so I know my way around plastic. And that's a good thing too, because according to my boss, uh, wood is a lot more forgiving than plastic. So if I've got experience with plastic, then working with wood should be a cakewalk. We shall see. And I do want to um, get into carpentry at some point. I want to make a. I have. I've had this uh, like cabinet design in my mind for like for the longest time to put like my paints and uh, plastic dips, varnish, uh, pretty much anything that's liquid or canned uh, for cosplay purposes. And uh, I wanted to make it real fancy, but instead of using glass, I want to use uh, green edge acrylic, so it looks like glass because it's green, slightly green but it's actually acrylic. It's actually plastic. And um, I also want to make a display case, uh, Oblivion style, and maybe put like an Elder Scroll in it or something. And also use Green Edge acrylic for that. This, that's going to be fun. And uh, I have the 3D modeling software. I need to actually design it, or I could just make a blueprint like, like you would see an architect do. But yeah, I would really like to start doing that. So this is good practice, just making a display stand out of wood. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Now I'll just kind of cut this on the bandsaw. And yeah, I definitely need to get my respirator. Because <laughs> that was uh, that was not fun, cutting that on the table saw. It's also not as loud as I remember. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure I need to use my, ear or my hearing protection anymore. I don't know. All right. Let's switch over to the, the bandsaw. And uh, hopefully this, yeah, this um, power strip cable is going to be kind of annoying. Um, move it just a little. Okay. Um, let's move the camera. Sorry. I don't really know how you guys are going to see this, but um, that's my table saw right there. Maybe I can, um, well, I could do this. You just set the box on top like that. Yeah, I guess that worked. It's too heavy though. <laughs> um, let's do this other one. Sorry. I'm put the camera down for a minute. Move that over here. Let's use this one. Oh. Cork back here for some reason. Okay. All right, I guess that's good enough. Okay, hopefully the vibration that the bandsaw makes won't won't uh, cause it to fall on itself. But anyway, let's get my cable saw out of the way. And I guess I'll unplug it too. Good, just to be safe. All right, I'm gonna put my respirator on now so I won't be able to speak. Or, well, I can speak, but you guys won't be able to hear it very well, so. Get ready for the silent treatment. We're just gonna cut everything uh, on on this here table saw or band saw. All right, here we go. Okay, a little underwhelming. Um, the blade is kind of rotating, uh, so I think I need to change the blade now. So I got to do that real quick. And my vice is in the way. Yay. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Um, sounds like this where I wish I had a hammer, but I don't, so I got to use my hacksaw. There we go. Okay. This thing's really rusty. There we go. All right. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> um, okay. No. All right. 
just move, just move the band saw itself. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. You guys are not really going to be able to see this. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, I got to change the blade up real quick. Um, let's see. Where's the knob at? No, that's that thing. Yeah, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. All right, that loosens the... So that lowers one of the wheels in here. So you can take the plate off. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get this wing nut out of here, too. I'm watching another live stream right now. Oh, yeah? Is that hard? Is it hard to keep track of who's doing what? What's the other stream? Are you playing a Halo Reach or something? All right, there's the bandsaw blade that was in there. It's still perfectly fine for cutting foam, but it looks like it can't do hard material anymore. Uh, so that means I need to find my, yeah, here they are. So I guess I'll go with the finest toothed one. Yeah, okay. Be careful not to undo these guys. Well, except the one I need. Or maybe, hold on, which one's best for cutting wood? I gotta look that up. Uh huh, one second. Best for wood. Um, mm -hmm. No, nope, that doesn't help me. Carbide to no pencil. Nope. Gosh, this computer is slow. Okay, that picture gives me a good idea. All right. Um, I guess I'll just go with the widest blade then, which will be. This one right here. The other, the other two look like these. So I'm going to use this one right here. See where that takes us. I've never cut um, wood with this bandsaw before. And I have to be careful not to cut myself as I undo this. Okay, got it. I got to put it this, put this in. Installing bandsaw blades is always fun. Not. <laughs> it's always a pain in the butt, to be honest. Okay, come on. Hopefully there's enough room for it too. Laterally. No, don't. Don't. Okay. I think I got it in, in place almost. Just got to adjust it just a wee bit now. Come on, don't do that. Come on. Why is it doing that? Okay, yeah, it's touching it's touching this right here. Ah uh, um That is annoying. Can I move it? Yeah. Okay, now I'll just install it. Or maybe I can move it back a little bit. Because it's like barely touching it. So if I can move the blade back, then that might work. No. Centers itself. All right, now I'll have to install. I'll have to install a, a more narrow blade then. Oh well, that's okay. Which means this blade is completely useless to me. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Anyway, let's get this other one. This other one that's wide. Okay. 
careful not to cut yourself as you undo this. Okay, got it. All right, let's try putting this in. Uh -huh. I got to stop the stream in 15 minutes. I need to split. I need to spend the last hour of the day uploading that uh, that video. So, 15 minutes. By that, by by the end, we will probably have all every shape cut out and uh, start putting them together. I don't really know how I'm going to do that though. I'll probably just have some slits cut out so that they're just interconnected instead of like glued or screwed into place. Yeah, I might do it like that. Okay. All right. Good. It's good. Good. Put that back. Okay. Got it. All right. Changing bandsaw blades is a fun task, guys. Very fun task. <laughs> Not okay. Can you still see that? Yeah, this piece of wood is in, kind of in the way, though, or the, the desk that this is sitting on. All right, there we go. All right, gonna put my respirator on. <sighs> All right, let's try this now. Okay, looks like um, there's not enough space between the blade of the bandsaw on the wall right there for the whole thing to fit through, so I'm going to have to rotate this thing. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on top of my table saw. Got it. Is the camera lagging? No, it's good. Okay. Uh huh. All right, let's see the camera right here. If I can grab this stupid box. All right, maybe this one. Okay. All right. 
Back to it. All right, this is a pretty rough cut, <laughs> uh, so I'll have to do a lot of sanding, but I do have a belt sander, a handheld one that was actually given to me by a woodworker, so if he, was the one, if he used it for wood, then, well, I can use it for this, can't I? So, uh, uh, good old Real V, yep, that's the brand I use.
uh, just because it happened to be the cheapest one I could find, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's the bottom piece cut out. Uh, I'm back. So yeah, that's the bottom piece cut out, and it's pretty solid. I like it. It just got to, I mean, look how uneven that is. <laughs> I got to sand the crap out of this thing. But let's go and do the other pieces. I got the filter. That's no good. I just <laughs> I dropped one of my filters. Got to put it back in. There we go. Okay. I think I'll go ahead and move this desk lamp too because it keeps bending itself down. So uh, I guess I'll put it right over here, maybe. Uh, one second. Let me start everything more. I'm good to see you again, man. Come on. Undo, undo. That happens every freaking time. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me just install this real quick. We should be back in track in a minute. There we go. And now let's put this thing over here. I'm gonna plug it first. <laughs> it's all tangled up with all my other all my other cables here. I can't wait to reorganize this damn workbench because it's such a mess and I am sick of it. I but I just don't have time. I gotta get all these other things done first. Eventually, eventually, eventually I'll be able to, but not today. Okay, now that's not in the way, is it? Desk lamp? Nope, it's not. Good. You should do more 3D printing vids. I think I agree. I um, I have a 3D printer, but I've only used it once. <laughs> For something I kept, I have done some tests with it, but um, the only time I used it for reels was with uh, Shadowversity's Imperius, and um, yeah, and the reason I do that, the reason I don't use it often, is because I like to make everything by hand, and I use that as kind of a last resort for things that would be too flimsy if they were made of foam, even if they had warbler reinforcement and metal rods inside. Like that guard, for example, it was just you know way too flimsy because of how how thin it was. But yeah, you're right. I probably I don't know when I will, but uh, later, yeah, I'll get some more three D printing stuff done. I'm still very, very, very new to it though. Like um, I I get lucky if I get a print job that actually works because I still have trouble figuring out how to set the bed up properly. But yeah, anyway, putting my respirator on now. And uh, we'll um, cut the two vertical stands up next. <coughs> and, um, yeah, it's almost 11, and it'll be 11 in a couple minutes. So I think when I start cutting, when I'm done cutting these, uh, I'll end the stream. I'd like to go on for longer, but I just I just have to get that video done. So. All right, here we go. Okay, now my desk lamp's in the way. <laughs> um, all right, maybe I'll move it further out. So it's just barely in the way. Okay, right 
there. That should be good. I can get this in there. Come on. Cable's in the way. Come on, stop. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, right. That's what it does. Okay. There we go. Got it. All right. This is always really annoying to set up. No, other way, other way. Just a second, guys. Sorry. Stop rotating. Just come on. There we go. Finally. Goodness gracious. All right. And everything's falling apart these days. All right. Oh. <sighs> All right, peace out, David. Have a good night. You too, man. I got to go here in a minute anyway. But yeah, take it easy, man.
<sighs> okay. Got the two pieces. That's the base right here. And the two stands. But I got to call it quits now. But nobody's watching anyway. So, <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next world.